Here is a model demonstrating an annular fissure centrally located on the posterior annulus. Under load, the nucleus will actually extrude. This is considered an open fissure disc bulge. With flexion, it will drive the nucleus posteriorly. As you notice, we have good disc height. And so, of course, there's going to be a good amount of nucleus in here to be able to drive posteriorly. But what happens over time is the disc heights can be lost. The disc height loses its height, which will have an impact on both the disc as well as the ligamentum flavum. And it could cause, it does cause, the facets to imbricate. Right? So as the facets continue to approximate, well, that's going to create a reaction of the osteoblast to proliferate and if the case in the case of a slight more uh, forces applied to the right you'll get this projecting osteophyte with the disc height coming down and you can see how the facets are more arthritic on this one and also the ligamentum flavum thickens. so you can see down in the canal how it's narrowed there's spinal stenosis compared to this one right? you can see how when the disc height comes down, the ligamentum flavum will also come down. The disc will flatten, but you'll also get a flattening and then and the ligamentum flavum will thicken into the spinal canal. In this model here, you can remove the posterior elements and see this annular fissure here that's still present.